All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a section reveal in bricks. This is what the project's going to look like when we're done. I know the colors are bad. This is just to get the point across. Before we go any further, if anyone just wants this template, I've included it in the video description so you don't have to watch the entire video. Just consider hitting like and subscribe in exchange for not having to create all of this yourself. I got this idea originally from Kokoro Web Animation. He made this with uh, Bricks Forge, but I couldn't quite figure out how he made it all work, so uh, I just decided to make it in Bricks using the sticky function. And here's how his version looks. His version's a little more elegant than mine, but uh, they both basically do the same thing. All right, to get started, we'll make a new page in Bricks. All right, I made this page. It's going to be called Scroll Reveal Tutorial. And to start, we'll put two sections in. These will act as kind of placeholders for before and after the scroll reveal. And for the first section, we'll go ahead and center everything up. We're going to give it some style. We'll go layout. We'll give it a width of 100%, a vertical height of 100 vertical height, and we'll give it a background color. It doesn't matter what color you give it, just make sure whatever you give it, the background has no transparency value in it. And for the next section, we'll do the same thing. We will go ahead and center everything up, give it a style, layout. We will give this a width of 100% as well, and a vertical height of 100 vertical height. And then we will change the background color to be something unique. We will do red and we will make sure there is no transparency in it. And now to make the scroll reveal section. We'll need five elements. A section, a container, two blocks, and a heading. We'll nest the first block inside the container. We'll nest the second block inside of the block. And we'll make the heading part of this section but not nested inside any of the other elements. And before I forget, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to also add a heading to the first section so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a style so that we can see what's going on a little easier. All right, now that we made the heading for our top section, we will go ahead and put our scroll reveal area between the top and bottom sections. And to get started, we'll click on the section first that's going to contain the score reveal. We'll go to style, layout, we'll give this a width of 100% and we'll give it a height of 50 viewport height. Next we'll click on the container, we'll give it a width of 100% and we'll give it a height of 65 viewport height. And finally we will give it a unique background color just so we can see what's going on. And we'll go with green and make sure there's no transparency. Next, we'll go to the first block. And we'll give it a height of 75 viewport height. And we'll also give this a Z index of 3. Next, we'll click on the second block. We'll give it a height of 20 viewport height. We will make its position sticky. And we'll say at the top, we'll give it 80%. And then we will also give it a unique background color. And make sure there's no transparency. Later we'll change all these colors so the scroll reveal looks right. Right now all these colors just kind of show what's going on. For the heading, I'm going to go to Style, Layout, and give it a position of Absolute. And on the top I'm going to make this 35%. And as we scroll through this, you can see it's kind of working, but something's just not right with it. So to fix this, we'll go down to our bottom section. We don't need this container. We can just go ahead and delete that for right now. And then we're going to update its styling. For margin, we'll make this negative 95. And we'll make its position relative. And we'll give it a Z index of 3. All right, this is looking a little better but our heading is still in the wrong spot. So to fix our heading, we will scroll down the page a little bit until the middle reveal is entirely green. We will select our heading, and where it says 35% under positioning, we'll go ahead and hold down shift and press the up arrow until it's in the middle of the page. Now this looks a whole lot better, but the white, uh, what I would call a shutter, kind of ruins the illusion of a reveal. The white should probably match the red background. So to change that, we'll click on 
that area it's a block we'll go ahead and go to the background and we will make this red as well and now you can see as we scroll up and down the page the illusion works pretty much perfectly if we change our breakpoints everything still works as expected now you will run into an issue if your site has a different vertical size for some reason I had to make the heading in here use the positioning of absolute instead of relative I'll show you how to fix this issue that you'll run into on your own site so for example if your top section was we'll say 200 viewport height when we scroll down well, you can see this heading's in the wrong spot right now so to fix this we'll just go back to our heading in the scroll reveal section and under positioning top instead of 50% we'll hold down shift and press up until it's in the right spot and now it works and make sure to save everything and when we view this on the front end things seem to still work right if we minimize this you can see that even at different sizes everything still works properly I know this is all kind of clunky if anyone figures out a better way to do this and makes their own tutorial I'll link it in the video description and lastly, I know it's lame to ask, but if you like this, hit like and subscribe and I'll keep making these tutorials.